I'm Kristen of She Paints, and I'm painting. What? Look, it looks like a suede. Oh, hi. I painted this chair two years ago, maybe three. The material was like teal and dusty rose. Dusty rose. It's like a wing back. It's a really nice chair, but the material was awful. Aided, just very 80s. I was like, I can paint it. And I did. I painted this duck egg blue. It's like, is that leather? Nope. It's just, um, you know, I'm not good at fabric. What was that? I don't know. It's smooth. Maybe just cotton. I don't know. All I've done, if you have questions, just write them in the comments. Wipe this off with uh, cleaning wipes. The secret to making it not crack or, you know, be crunchy or any of that is to use it as a dye. And you can't do that with latex. The first place I saw this with this paint was Debbie's Design Diary. She painted a whole, and it looks like an anthropology sofa. It was like, you know, $2,000. And she found hers for like 20 at a place. You don't want it sitting on the top, you wanna to work it in like a dye. It's like a dye, you're making it into a dye. Not like, there's more than one way to skin a cat, so this is the way I've used that's effective. I'm telling you, my husband sits in it every day. It looks brand new. Um, I mean, it looks vintagey, but it, it's in good shape. So what I'm gonna do is water down this well. Some people have you like mix the paint with water, like in a container. I'm gonna try to just do it this way, um, watering it down plenty. Mm-hmm. And then the secret is, although so I'm gonna make this very thin and watery. It looks like watercolor. It looks really good like that, it's too uh, thick. Because <laughs> you really, you want to do three coats probably at least. And again, it can vary um, what the material and the age of the piece and the, who knows, the kind of paint you're using. I'm using DIY paint, of course. I'm a retailer and I've seen many, many people use it. Use any brush. I'm using my Paint Pixie, the small, the number eight oval. <laughs> there. This makes it look like leather. First coat in general should be sort of like, oh, half and half. Dip it good. Oh yeah. I'm going to spray this with water as well. I'll do the underside of the cushion later. Let me know, has anybody done this? And if so, are they like thrilled with it because it's awesome? Or was it like a disaster? I have had one of those. Have you just been dying to do it and now you're going to? There's clay in this, but it's going on like butter because of the water. If anybody has any questions, I hope you'll ask them. Okay, I'm gonna get my sanding sponge. This keeps it from being blotchy when it's this kind of material. And it's gonna make it really smooth. I kind of massage it in there, if you will. Massaging it. This is gonna look really ugly, but it's gonna get a couple more coats. And I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. The hardest part is waiting for it to dry, if you ask me. I'm trying to show y'all that you can paint your lampshades, your books, covers, your frames, anything with this paint, anything but rubber, um, and make it over. And you've heard of like dyeing leather, you can dye leather. Just add water to the DIY paint. Thank you so much for watching and I will finish it pretty soon. Look, it looks like a suede right now. It's, I'm gonna wax this chair. So I have done a whole series. I mean, it's like three videos. Three. Using the same color to paint home decor. So if you wanna go back and watch those, you, if you have a local retailer, then you should go there um, and see if there's someone. If not, say, hey, give me your business. I mean, I ship them. Um, I have an affiliate link if you're gonna go to their website. This is considered a sample size. This is the sample, eight ounces. 
and it's called sample, but it, I mean, I already have done this whole chair and I've got more than half left. See, it looks a little janky, a little janky fabulous. This one needs another coat. Janky fabulous t-shirts, did I tell you guys that? Janky fabulous, like it's almost fabulous, a little janky. So it needs another coat. So, done. It's been four co oh, coats. Debbie's Design Diary, the owner and creator of, of the paint, uh, she did seal it with Big Top. Um, I have just always used wax when I'm painting a fern of upholstery fabric because that, it does need to be good and dry before you try to wax it, so. I'm just gonna wax right here. Yeah, okay. Oh, and the, the wax is delicious. So I'm just gonna wax it. And then you just leave it, let it dry, obviously, after it dry. I like buffing, it makes a little sheen, but it's not like, oh, if you don't buff it, the wax won't stay or anything. And the wax will cure, and then it's good to go. All right, so I'm gonna do right here because it's easiest for you to see. This, look, that's all uneven. That looks kind of crappy. Um. <laughs> look how delicious. Oh my goodness. So I think that will dry evenly, but if it doesn't, I'll throw another coat on it. <laughs> Wait till it dries. Yeah, I just did this. And it looks like vinyl, it's hilarious. Let's say leather, because that sounds fancier. Y'all, come on, come on. If you haven't seen them before, you gotta see it. You gotta go look or I'll post pictures. It does look like leather, doesn't it? It just totally does. It's amazing. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you want to go subscribe, that would be that would be fantastic for me. Thanks. It's not as bad as it sounds. The vet told me I can give him Benadryl. A little hot spot. See if that helps. Okay. I'll give him the Benadryl when I'm doing the live. <laughs> Maybe he'll sleep. DIY or die. No, that's stupid. <laughs>